I'm Dr. Garima Sachi. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel. Friends, today I'm going to explain you about floaters, that is Muske Volentantus or Mauscher's Volentus in English, on the demand of few of my patients in English, especially for non-Hindi patients. It's not a disease but a symptom which represents the disease. 14% population is suffered from this. Friends, before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe it, tap the bell icon and get the latest update of the videos through bell icon. See the video till the last so that you can be able to listen and understand the importance of homeopathy and some of the homeopathic medicines which can be helpful in curing these flutters. At first, I would like to tell you what actually flutters is. It is the deposits of various shapes and size and consistency of material in the eye's vitreous humor. That is flutters. Normally, there is lens in the eye. Behind that, there is vitreous chamber. And in that vitreous chamber, there is vitreous humor. And the regenerative changes occur in that vitreous humor that produces these floaters. Vitreous humor is transparent gel-like substance which is present normally in the eye in transparent form. If its consistency gets changed, then it produces floaters. And due to wear and tear due to aging, it produces these floaters generally. But in some persons, Vitreous detachment may lead to these floaters. Floaters are visible and the perception of these floaters are termed as myodesopsia. And these are visible because of the refraction of the light that passes through these floaters. And it produces shadow on the retina. That's why they are visible in front of the eyes. Now it may be several or one it may have various shapes and size like it may be like spots or a smoky appearance in front of the eyes or thread like appearance or fragment like appearance which appears just before the eyes and it moves in the direction of the eyes as we move the eyes towards the right these floaters also moves towards the right so these are visible just before the eyes and it exists even inside the eyes. These are not the optical illusions but these are actually present inside the eyes and visible in front of the eyes. Now I am going to discuss about the symptoms of the floaters. So some people feel that there is something at the corner of the eye. There is something stick to the corner of the eye. Along with that, some people feel that the floaters are visible in monochromatic color in the blue sky or even when closing the eyes, these floaters are easily visible because the light penetrates inside the eyes. These are visible more after the cataract operation. So any operation can follow these floaters too. These floaters are suspended in vitreous humor. Now I am going to discuss about the causes of the floaters. So first and foremost cause is vitreous detachment. Retinal detachment, retinal tear, any kind of wear and tear according to the age or any trauma or inflammation can cause these floaters. Now the consistency of the vitreous humor is 1% solid and the rest 99% is the water. That 1% solid gets degenerated into fibrils and that fibrils can form these floaters. So that is the composition and degenerative changes in that vitreous can lead to floaters. Vitreous detachment due to contraction or shrinkage. It leads to some floaters and that is called as flashes. So flashes are because of the vitreous detachment due to contraction or shrinkage. Some floaters are ring shaped, rounded and these are called as V's rings floaters. And some small dots, hemorrhagic spots were there inside the eye which leads to a small dot appearance of the floaters. And these small dots 
are due to the because of the retinal detachment so retinal detachment leads to these small dot floaters so these flashes and small dot floaters these both are because of the retinal detachment are more dangerous it can cause blindness some of the genetic causes are there like uveitis retinitis now i am going to discuss about the diagnosis so sign and symptoms are the main diagnostic criteria along with that ophthalmoscopic examination can be done treatment is surgery or laser in allopathic way but homeopathy can cure such floaters homeopathy is the science which treats a patient not a single disease that's why homeopathy can cure any disease the cause of this floaters is fear of rear attacks attack by teacher attacked by classmates parents or any robber so there is a constant fear and a patient may be threatened of these persons or any person so it can produce floaters the mind cause mental cause is fear of rear attack it can lead to flutter now i am going to discuss you about my case which has been cured homeopathically it is a case of floater of 53 year male who has been suffered from floaters there were brown color floaters in front of the eyes diplopia having double vision and letters seems moving while reading flickering along with writing aversion to work patient was thirstless and having unnatural hunger there is a sense of mist surrounding everything is surrounded with mist there is a sensation of cobweb on the forehead and overall face too along with that patient was extrovert and loquacious in mental journals we get he can't find proper words uses wrong words wrong names for people as well as he sings and talks constantly and whatever he talks he talks in a rhythmic way along with that complaints aggravated after getting angry and he had a delusion that he is under some superhuman control he is a great person finally the rubric taken was delusion he is a great person delusion under a superhuman control and the medicine given was agaricus 200 which cured him completely within an year that's all about my case now i'm going to discuss some of the homeopathic medicines which are helpful in curing these floaters the first medicine is phosphorus in this black spots appear in front of eye which are after eating so it gets aggravated on eating and green halos appears in front of the eyes in candle light especially and it gets amelioration on covering or shadowing the eyes with hand gray color floaters are also there in this phosphorus and the patient of the phosphorus desires to be magnetized wants always a constant touch and there is anxiety which gets aggravated on lying on left side and there is a constant fear of miss happening phosphorus is not a basically that much timid remedy but he has a fear of miss happening continuously so in such cases phosphorus can be helpful next medicine is amon car so in this there are black floaters and they are aggravated after swimming after swing machine work these floater get aggravated along with that there is diplopia having double vision and the white object looks yellow to this patient there must be optical illusion along with these floaters and the mental generals of the amon carb is weeping tendency sad disappointment there is uncleanliness in his nature and remains conscious about his own health so in such cases this amon carb can be of very much use next medicine is natrum carb so in this black spots appear before eyes 
dazzling light before eyes and dim vision has to wipe them constantly along with that there is a sensation as if feather in front of the eyes patient is too much contented self contented but confused having confusion in everything along with that he is satisfied but nervous too so in such cases this natrum cup can be helpful next medicine is myrrh sol so in this spots are like insects are moving in front of the eyes so floaters are as if insects are moving in front of the eyes there are green halos in front of the eyes or flame like appearance in front of the eyes too foggy dim vision is seen there is periodical loss of vision too and the mental symptoms of the patient is he is suspicious rebellious strong positive constitution dominating and dictatorial too he may be a quarrelsome personality so in such cases the smog sol can be very much helpful and the last medicine is aesculus hippocastanum so in this musca volitantis or the floaters are black in color and these black spots occur in front of the eyes on fixing his eyes so that is because his mental condition is also that is like unable to fix his attention he is unable to fix his concentration that's why on fixing eyes he gets this floaters along with that there is stinging sensation in the eye smarting type of pain soreness in the eye eyes feels red and hot and there is profuse lacrimation along with these floaters mental condition is also that concentration difficult which leads to confusion so a confused person on fixing his attention gets floater this aesculus hippocastanum will be of very much use that's all for today we'll meet soon with a new topic and new subject kindly don't take any medicine without the permission of the doctor kindly consult a doctor before taking any medicine the clinic address of mine and contact number is given in the description link if you have not subscribed my channel kindly subscribe it kindly tap the bell icon to get the latest update of the videos too was take an active to stay healthy thank you